This is the second and last part of uh, the video on how to install catalog on a .NET 2 website. Let's minimize this, let's go back to the site. And let's go to host, module definitions. Scroll down, let's go to install new module and let's install those three guys. Well, they don't mention any particular order that you have to install those modules, but I, I like to, install, to, to start from catalog store. It does take quite a bit of time to upload because uh, those, those zip files are quite big. So we have just to hold on. Okay, so installation file is done. Let's just have a quick look to see if there's any errors. Nothing, everything should be okay. If I see some red flags, I'll pay attention. Otherwise, I'll just scroll. Click return. And let's go to the next file. Let's go back again. Install the module. Browse. And let's go to store settings. Store settings is installed, so no errors. Let's go return and go to the third one. Okay. So install the module. Let's go to the cat modules zip install the module wait a little bit module installed scroll down see if there's any errors okay so let's just click return okay so let's see so here are the bunch a whole bunch of modules from catalog everything that starts with cat here they are all modules related to catalog that comes with with those uh, zip files that we have uploaded now Here's the next thing that we're going to be doing. So we have installed the modules, but Catalog has also a, a nice, a good template that we upload to the site and uh, a bunch of menus are already created with the, with the basic options of, of, uh, of an e-commerce website. So what we're going to be doing next is uploading the template that will populate a whole bunch of menus with the existing catalog modules and it will cut our job in setting up catalog quite a lot okay so we're gonna have to upload that template now so to be able to install the template we have to go to our files to our site files to our module files actually and here is again catalog root folder and if we have a look at the folders there's one that says store portal templates and there are a couple of different templates uh, that comes with catalog the the three First one, those are multi-vendor uh, templates, which is not the case. In our case here, we just have one vendor. Uh, so again, the three uh, first templates are multi-vendor templates, and the three last templates are single vendor templates, which is our case. Now, there is an option that says no skin and no skin, no container. Those options are used when uh, the site has a skin and a container that we want to use. And the first one is used when the site does not have any skin and any container, and we want to use the skin and container provided by Catalog. In our case, the site does have a skin, it does have a container. So what you're going to be using is the last one, Catalog Small Business No Skin No Container Template. And we need to upload that to the website so we can apply this template to the website. So now what you're going to be doing next is... To be able to upload this file to the website, we can do in two ways. We can either do it via FTP, uh, direct to the folder, or we can do it via file manager, uh, but we have to do a couple of settings. Let's go and do it via file manager so I can, I can show you how to, to do a couple of interesting uh, things with DNN. First thing is that the extension of this file is .template. So we have to add this extension to this to the set of allowed extensions in the .NET website. So let's go to host, host settings. Then from host settings, let's scroll down and go to other settings under advanced settings. See, there's a bunch of, uh, of file extensions. Oh, actually .template is already there. So we don't have to worry about that. So good, let's skip this. And now to upload that file, we have to do it via host file manager. And the host uh, folder is the one selected. Let's just click on upload. Let's go to that folder.
and here's the template that we want to install no skin no container because again it will be using the skin in the containers from the websites so click open and host root folder that's fine no decompressing so let's just click upload so the file was uploaded it's right here we can see it it's perfect now the template is uploaded we have now to apply the template and what is this template about the template basically has pages and and modules in those pages and and uh, once we apply this template new uh, new new pages and new menus will show up automatically in this website because we are restoring a template that comes with a catalog to make easy to make it easier the the process of, of setting it up and how can we apply this template so to apply this template we have to go to admin site wizard okay so so site um, site wizard is just a way to that we can uh, read that template the site can read that template and can apply that template to the website so let's click next so uh, here are uh, here's the list of templates this is the one we, we click on and build your site from a template this is the one that we have uploaded catalog small business let's click there so in the site wizard we have three options uh, when when by any chance the template which we are trying to apply has the same the pages in the templates that we are trying to apply has the same name as the pages already in the site so we can have the option of ignoring uh, which I think it will basically uh, it, it will not bring the page from the template if there is a similar name we can ask for replacement which what will happen there is that the page in the template will overwrite the page uh, with the same name in the website and we can ask for merging which what will happen is that the modules in that page that is coming from the template will be added to the existing page uh, on the website so let's let's keep this merging although I don't see this as much relevant for this case because uh, the menus uh, the cat catalog menus are, are are quite different from the ones that we have already here but let's keep uh, this merge option just in case let's click next I will not select the skin for the site because I want it to I want the template to, to pick up the skin that has already been used in the site. So I'll I'll just I'll leave it leave this blank without selecting any particular skin. Click next. The same thing for a container, I will not select anything here. I don't need to change anything here because again this is an existing site. And if I need to change the site name uh, later on I can do that via the admin. So I don't need to touch any of that let's click finish so once it's finished uh, the new menus are not displayed yet we have to let's say click admin pages to refresh and see the new menus perfect so the menu was refreshed the existing pages are still there and we have a bunch of new menus like store my account, my referral sales, catalog net store, where we can do the configuration of catalog. So we have this bunch of new menus that all came with catalogs, catalog templates. So again, by, by using that template, catalog has saved us quite a lot of time uh, because we don't have to set up all those different pages on our own. It's already done via the template that we have restored. Now, this is basically it. This is how we install Catalog. We have downloaded Catalog, we have purchased, we have seen uh, the different versions of Catalog. Download the Catalog, upload the Catalog to the site, and use the template to apply, to create the, the Catalog menus into the website. Now, again, this is just half a, a part of the job. Now we have to set up Catalog and do the configuration which is beyond uh, the the point of this video right now so this video was the, the purpose of this video was only to show how to install catalog in future videos i will be showing how to set up catalog but this one is just about installing okay thank you very much that's it for now bye